Good morning. It's Mary Ellen from the channel Mary Ellen After 60, and I am back from vacation and ready to share a few things with you. I'm mentioning the title, Jumping Hurdles. Well, I'm going to talk a little bit about my travels, and then I'm going to talk about some things that helped me with the travels and just and announce two winners and who who knows what else I'm going to do. I'm going to try to do this without editing. So, well, the very first hurdle I jumped, I will tell you, the last time I flew was probably six years ago, last August. I flew straight through from St. Louis to Seattle. Absolutely no problems. I have flown a lot in my life. But what I haven't done in I don't know how long is I have not had to change planes. Well, I wanted to go see my friend, best friend from fifth grade in Midland, Texas. Well, there's no way, to, there's no straight through flights. So on June 4th, I, my son took me to St. Louis to the airport, had a great visit with him, and I hopped on a plane. I did fine. I did get the TSA pre-check. I definitely recommend that if you, if you fly very much. And hopped on the plane, did great. So I landed in Dallas. Thank goodness it was left field because I have had some really bad experiences in DF in the big Dallas-Fort Worth airport. Well, lo and behold, my friend from Midland had gone to Dallas a day before and met me at the gate. I could have made the transfer without her, but I had a two hour you know, layover in, in Love Field and we went and had a snack and visited, but I could have easily gotten to the gate myself and I wasn't nervous at all. And I spent just a few days in Midland and then they took me to Las Vegas. And I will talk about that in my video next week or the next week. I'm trying to get together some clips and there were two people that were already friends, but we had not met in person, and I have some filming with them. So don't even try to guess, because uh, it's not Old Carol from the Old Carol Show, because she doesn't live there anymore. So that was a huge hurdle for me to fly by myself, and transfer, and stay in a hotel room all by myself. I haven't done that in, I don't know how long. But I'm going to talk to you about the things that really made a difference in my travels. I took one large suitcase that has like four wheels and then a carry-on that has four wheels. And I thought, how am I going to get around once I, you know, get to my destination and all that stuff? So I ordered some luggage straps from Amazon. And I tell you, they were great. And I'll put a picture somewhere in here. I'm not sure where it'll be, but it's how you attach the straps of each one and you can just pull it easily. And I'm gonna put the links for everything, but I'm gonna put the price I paid in front of the link. So I will list that below and I'll list it in the order so you can read about them. But these, these, these came in really happy, handy. But I did use both of my straps to attach the suitcases and I was really glad I have it. So the next thing, I flew southwest, and I knew that my carry-on luggage could only be 50 pounds. So I was kind of, I didn't have any trouble weighing it at home because, you know, you can just get on the scale. But I ordered this, and it wasn't very much. And you just press this button, hook this underneath the strap, and this comes off, and you lift it, and it tells you how much. Well, what was especially nice, when I, we left Las Vegas, I put a bunch of stuff from my carry-on, into my larger suitcase and I could just wait in the room and, and I didn't, uh, and I stayed underweight. So this is gonna go in my drawer when I get Jim eventually to fly and I think I might have him doing it, but not real soon. So if you fly often and weight is a regulation, you know what, you could also use this for other things in your home if you wanted to weigh him. But anyway, that helped me a lot. And the next thing I had mentioned before and their packing cubes. Prior to having packing packing cubes, I had I still have them. Some large Ziploc kind of heavy duty bags, and I would put my clothes in there. Well, I tried the rolling system, and I absolutely absolutely loved it. What I ordered uh, got really good reviews. This you got I got two of this size, and I used one for bras and one for underwear, and I threw them away. Not my bras, but my underwear I did as I went. 
And then this medium size right here. You see how thick it is right here? I had four outfits for, for Las Vegas rolled up in here and just left it shut the whole time I was in Midland. And when I got to Las Vegas, everything was fine. Nothing was wrinkled. I, I was pretty careful on how I rolled it, but I was thrilled. And this larger one, I put all the rest of my other clothes in. See how, what I like about it is how deep it is. And you can see what it is. I think I used the, the large, the medium, and both of my small bags. And I will always roll my clothes and use those because it was so handy. Okay, the next item that was a major hit is my mini tripod. I used that twice. I used it with both of the people I filmed with. And, you know, it has little legs that come out. I talked about this, this in another video. But what I love, it just go, folds up and I can carry it in my handbag. And I will be using this again this week. So I love this. Something else, and I do not know where I saw this. This... I now have four. <laughs> this is a retractable charger. And what I love about this, it will work for everything, Android, any of my other devices. The only thing it doesn't work for is my Fitbit watch and my MacBook Pro. But absolutely everything else I can charge with this. You just either use this size, this size, or you can put this size and it charges. Jim has an Android phone. He loves his flip phone. It charges it, it, it gets long. Then all you do like that, it, it retracts. And I have this, I, I have one of these that have like two USB ports and I just plug it in. I usually plug it in my computer, but you can plug it in anywhere. So I carry one in my purse. I have one in my living room. I have one in each car. And the one in my van, it doesn't have any USB ports. So I have that cigarette thing you put in that has two ports so we can charge anything. And we do plan on, Jim definitely plans on doing some road trips. We're gonna do some road trips this summer. So this, whoever, if, if I saw this on your video, please leave a comment below. I think I got it in April. Anyway, if you comment below that I saw this on your video, then I will pin your comment to the top because I love it. And uh, you get two of them. And like I said, I'll put the price down before you even have to click on it. And the next item that I love, I used to have one and I, it played out on me. It is the Anchor Power Core. It's a 10,000 whatever power bank. I charged it at home and I could charge my phone while I was on the go. I usually either film with my old cell phone or today I'm doing my newer cell phone and I just plugged it in use that little thing and it could be charging while I was in my purse it could charge my iPad my uh, anything I love it and uh, this just goes right in the bag and don't store these in your car one of my friends Kathy told me that that is dangerous that to store like power banks like this in your car because um, she was a fire inspector and she would know. So I just keep this in my purse. Okay, and on my handbag, I knew exactly what I was gonna take. I was gonna take this bag that I got for my birthday. It is a really nice Michael Kors um, tote. And you can tie it like this. I mean, I don't have any, I don't know where you can buy it, but it's really nice and large. Well, two things happened. I wanted to take this and it didn't stand up in it. It's, it's too slouchy of a bag. And it doesn't have a zipper. It does not have a zipper. I knew this would be have to go underneath my seat. So I'm talking we have like a week before I'm leaving and I realize I don't have a tote bag that zips. So I looked everywhere, and I mean everywhere. I didn't go shopping, because I didn't want to go shopping, but I looked online and I tried to find places that I could get it on time. Well, I found this bag on Amazon. It is just about the exact same color, but it is nice. It's 100% genuine leather, which is important to me because I keep my bags for years. I don't go for trendy bags. I just go for handbags I like, and I keep them forever. But what I liked about this, it had two zipper pockets. I had my medicine list in there. Two 
side pockets, a little zipper pocket in back, and a snapped pocket right there. And then when I opened it up, I still have some stuff in here. Um, <laughs> it has a big zipper compartment and two slip pockets. It has a shoulder, like you can do it crossbody. And this fit in it. And so that made it really nice. When you look at it, you'd think it would be a super slouchy bag, but it, it doesn't. It, it will stand up. So I was thrilled with this, and uh, this is the kind It's funny that it came in the exact same color, but I'm really impressed with it, and it zips so easily. And that's a way a lot of times you can tell about a handbag. The stitching isn't as tight as some of the bags, but it is excellent stitching. You know that I'm like check stitching and seams, but I... If I needed another handbag in a different color, I would repurchase it. I would. Now I would like to announce the winner of the Fab, Fab Fit Fun Box that I am going to buy and send to you. I had a lot of entries, and uh, this is the first name that came up. And the, the winner of the Fab Fit Fun Box is Kim Moak. Congratulations, Kim. Make sure you leave a comment below. And uh, I'll tell you where to send your address. I'm, I'm excited to order that from you, for you. During that video, and, and I don't expect, I know people don't sit and stare at a video when somebody all the time when they're making it. But every once in a while, I will put in something like this and I'll talk behind it. And I had 57 people who used the word rationale in their comment. And what was so funny, I could go to edit and count the number, and it said there were 58. It drove me crazy, because I just put down the list as they came in. I wrote down everybody who used the word rationale, and I double-checked it. Well, what happened, somebody used the word rationale twice. And all I just said is, you will receive a gift. So my, And I left that up for 7.4 seconds. So I went to random number picker and did one to 57 and the number 26 came up and that belongs to Kristen M. Congratulations, Kristen. You have won a $25 e-gift card or a deposit to your PayPal account, whichever you want. So just send me an email and uh, I'll let you know what to do. And on my FabFitFun box, I know three people made a purchase from that link and they, they got $10 off their first box. So that qualifies me for a free box. And I don't, if you watch the video before I had said, and I'll put a thing up here wherever it was, that if I earned, if I earned a free box that I was going to give it to one of you and it was going to, and this, and if you're still watching, this is going to be a giveaway. <laughs> And because I needed a video, so when they let me know that I get the free box, I want to have the address so I can have it sent directly to you. This is international. If you are an international winner and they won't ship it to you, I will contact you and we'll come up with something that is equally as good, if not better. So anyway, and if you want to be in this giveaway, you have to be 18 years old or older, be subscribed to my channel before it goes live. Uh, if you give me a thumbs up, that's wonderful. I can't control that. But I'm, I'm going to have you answer a question for me, and it's about giveaways. What I want to start doing from the, this point on is announcing my giveaway and giving someone two weeks to watch the video and claim it. And I want you to know, I want you to tell me if I should wait two or three weeks, because I want to be fair. It doesn't work, me trying to contact people. Uh, there are several people I've tried to contact, and I don't know if they don't know how to do notifications, but I just want to stop that step. So in the comment section below, all I want you to say is how many weeks I should wait for someone to claim their prize. In any way, I will see you next week. It is all good. I appreciate you. I am not rested up yet at all. And to every father out there, I want to wish you a very happy Father's Day. We all know fathers in our life. I've, my, my father passed away on my 35th birthday, 
and uh, I, I miss him very much. So this year, it'll be 31 years since he's been gone, and um, and that's it. So uh, you take care, and I will see you in my next video. It's kind of it's, but it'll it's a it. Blah, 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 blah. Good morning. It's Mary Ellen after 60, and I. My best friend from fifth grade.